The monsoon ventilator requires connections to both air and oxygen supply tubes to the back of the apparatus. If pipeline air is not available, an external air compressor should be used. Sterile water should be used for humidification. Using saline has the potential to damage the vaporizer unit inside the apparatus and cause harm to the patient's airway. Two tubes are demonstrated here. One is the blue patient tube, which is connected to the front of the apparatus labeled jet. The other is the red pressure sensing tube, which is connected to the front of the apparatus labeled proximal. Both are connected to one of the two lower lock connections on the test lung prior to jet ventilation. Prepare an IV set by connecting to sterile water and purging all air from the line. If the IV set is closed, kinked, or disconnected, the machine will alarm with no water. Now fill the drip chamber about a third to a half of the way with water. Filling the drip chamber completely will not allow the drop sensor to detect water movement and again the no water alarm will sound. Connect the IV set to the lower lock connection at the front of the ventilator. It can be helpful to drip some water into the connector to reduce the potential risk of an air bubble. Attach the drop sensor to the drip chamber, ensuring that the sensor at the top of the drop sensor is in contact with the chamber. Now connect the patient tube and pressure sensing tubes, blue to blue and red to red, at the front of the ventilator. It's important to hear a click when connecting the tubes. To disconnect, press the connecting portion inward to release the tubing. Connect the other ends to one of the two lower lock connections on the test lung. Press the start stop key on the back of the machine to start the ventilator. The blue and red tubing need to be connected to the machine before turning it on. The machine has a touch screen to modify parameters and settings. To operate the touch screen, press and hold the buttons on the screen. The hold feature is a safety feature to avoid inadvertent changes. Press the start stop button first then press the climatization button on the screen. Terminology for this feature on some models may be humidity or humidification. With the rotating white knob, change the setting to 4 and depress the knob to confirm the selection. The machine will alarm no water. Press the alarm reset button and it will prime the machine. The test bag connection has an opening on its connector. Placing your finger to occlude the opening will test the ventilator's ability to detect high pressures, and this also ensures that the tubing has no leaks. As pressure builds, the apparatus will suspend ventilation at the set pressure limit and the notification PIP too high will appear. Alarm messages stack on top of each other on the upper left corner of the screen. Red alarm messages are related to the patient, yellow alarm messages are informational, and blue alarm messages are related to the system. Now press the stack menu and go into settings to calibrate the ventilator. This can also be done while the ventilator is actually operating. Ventilation parameter settings available include the following. Driving pressure, frequency, inspiration time, pause pressure limit, proximal pressure limit, oxygen concentration, bypass flow, and humidification. After completion of jet ventilation, the apparatus must be dehumidified to prevent buildup of stagnant fluid and potential bacteria. To do so, press the start stop button to stop the machine. Now press the stack menu followed by climatization and then dehumidification. You'll see a reminder message to disconnect the tubing from the patient and to disconnect the sterile water tubing from the machine. Proceed with those actions and then press the check mark. Here we demonstrate fluid being ejected from the ventilator during the dehumidification process. Allow the machine to finish dehumidification and then press the check mark. To turn the machine off, Press the start stop button on the back of the machine. You will hear an alarm and a blue alarm message will appear as confirmation. To confirm, press the yellow alarm mute button 
and the apparatus will power off. 